from the committee meeting we had with Miss Daly on August 7th, uh, it was clear that she, well, she stated clearly that she had presented issues of GC strategies, very poor documentation, errors with submissions, and slow responses to resolution for the errors have been raised with TBIPS and PSPC managers and the contractor by me and other CBSA staff. What is your impression of that statement that she submitted to this committee? And who are the PSPC managers that she refers? Okay. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair, for the question. Could you repeat, is that a statement that Ms. Daly yes. made? Okay. Could you repeat the statement, please? From 2020 to 2022, the issues of GC strategies, very poor documentation, errors mm -hmm. with submissions, and slow responses to resolution for the errors have been raised with TBIPS, PSPC managers, and the contractor by me and other CBSA staff. Okay, thank you, Do you recall uh, that? for the question, Mr. Chair. I would say that uh, the Auditor General, as well as the procurement ombud, have also found uh, deficiencies with those methods of supply. We're well aware. And uh, in fact, like the, the department has acted on many of the recommendations already. But were you aware of... Specific were you aware issues? of the uh, these particular issues yeah. prior to the Auditor General's report, okay. most particularly when Ms. Daly submits to this committee that she had brought this up with senior management okay. during her time and capacity at PSPC? So thank you for the question. I was not there uh, with the procurement branch at, the, at that time. Thanks. Who, who do you think she would have reported to in that instance when she describes senior managers of PBIPS and PSPC managers? So thank you for the question, Mr. Chair. I believe at the time she worked for the CBSA. Thank you very much. Ms. Daly is currently on administrative leave and was under investigation, as you made previously commented, by PSCP and CBSA. Are these investigations ongoing? Thank you for the question. I believe so. In this instance, and if there's new information that arises from her testimony related to that investigation, is there any additional facts to her testimony that you'd like to submit here today in relation to that study regarding the internal investigation? Thank you very much for uh, the question, Mr. Chair. No. Ms. Daly alleges that she was placed on leave for retaliatory reasons. Mm -hmm. How do you respond to the allegations that she was placed on leave because she refused to provide false testimony? Thank you very much for the question. Uh, as I stated in my opening remarks, uh, at no point did either Tom or myself ask Ms. Daly to make false statement. On the contrary, we offered our support. Thank you. When was that discussion where you offered the support? Thank you for the question. I offered her the support on December 14, 2023. And how long was that from the time and period to which she says she raised these claims with PSPC? Uh, thank you for the question, Mr. Chair. Um, I don't know, because like you're, you're uh, suggesting January 2020, again, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Well, she's suggesting that period of time, but I understand if you de deny that fact, correct? That she ever raised concerns with okay. m senior managers. Okay, thank you very much for the question. About CBSA, when we were in our roles, no. Interesting. No. Do you recall the conversation that Ms. Daly is speaking about in regards to the, the moment where she had been that feared retaliation if she didn't give false testimony. Do you recall that conversation? So thank you very much for the question, Mr. Chair. I, I do recall a conversation that I had with Ms. Daly. My recollection, again, was uh, that uh, we were genuinely offering our support. Uh, on, at, a partic at a time where it was particularly difficult for her. How Ms. long was Thank that you. meeting? Thank you. I'm afraid, Mr. Digley, that is the time. Right. We will come back to you, right. sir.